Hey everyone, so I was asked by one of my uh, subscribers to do a little bit of research on a certain medication, um, <clears throat> which is called, forgive me if I'm like slaughtering the name of this, Lamotrigine. Um, so he asked me to do a little bit of research for him, and he gave me, you know, a little bit of background about him and his wife, which uh, his wife is the one that has bipolar 1, and she's 58 years old, the husband is 69, and he um, was reaching out to me on my hypersexuality video because he and his wife haven't had sex in four years. So, um, he just asked me if I, well, I offered actually to do a little bit of research for him because I was wondering myself if, um, there was a connection between the medication that she's taking and this lack of sex drive. So, um, normally what I do when I'm about to research is I'll write down a bunch of questions that I want answered, and then I go from there. So I use those as like springboards for my research. So some of the things that I wrote down, um, in let's see here, were, um, is it connected to is the medication connected to lack of sex drive? What are the long-term side effects, if there are any? Is there a connection to elderly women and the side effects? Um, I also wrote down menopause here because um, obviously being 58 years old, I'm assuming that she's gone through menopause already and me being 26, I haven't experienced that. so. I don't know much about it or what it would potentially do to your sex drive, so I was wondering if that could be another possible issue. Um, I also wrote down, is it connected to dopamine uptake inhibitors? That might not make any sense to a lot of people, but um, I took toxicology, so I know how medications connect with your neurotransmitters. Basically, I know how the medication is going to affect your brain and body, so I can research into that. Um, and I also wrote down um, children because he mentioned that he has custody of his grandchildren, which is um, a girl who is 13 years old and a boy who is 3 years old. And they've had um, custody of the girl for 6 years and custody of the boy since he was 2 months. So I know myself just having one 2 year old and having children that can already like play a big part in not having a lot of time for <laughs> your partner. So I wrote down children as another side note as well, and I also wrote down things that I, um, I don't know about this couple because, um, lack of information, I'm not going to be able to obviously form the full picture, so, <coughs> um, there's some of the questions that I would ask if, um, this person were my patient, I'd want to know their duration of use and obviously the dosage. So duration, duration of use, obviously, I mean like how long they've been taking the medication for. Because sometimes if you've only been taking it for like a short period of time, say a few weeks or just a few months versus years, then there can be different side effects there. And your body also starts developing tolerances and reacting differently and that gets into a whole other area, so I wrote down that. Um, also I wrote down personality.
sorry, my camera died there because apparently I didn't have enough memory on my card. So I was about to say, um, I also wrote down personality choice because some people are just more sexual than others and I don't know her personality or, you know, what she's like on a on a normal level or what she was like before she was diagnosed with bipolar so it's hard for me to um, s judge where her sex drive is now versus where it should be and where it was before kind of thing. Um, I also don't know her exact diagnosis. I know that she's bipolar 1 but I don't know if there's any sub diagnoses along with that. Um, I talked about the lack of dopamine and it being connected to uh, uptake inhibitors. And one of the other things that I wanted to know was uh, their relationship, obviously. Uh, how long have they been together? What's their relationship been like? Have there been periods um, where they were almost divorced? You know, has it been a good marriage? Like, Things like that can filter into her personality choices and just a lot of things can intertwine together. So um, I wrote all those things down as side notes separate from the medication because we can come to find that it has nothing to do with the medication but it can be something else that's going on in her life. So um, in this case I found through my research lots of people um, on the net that are on this medication uh, for a long period of time around the same age as this woman that are having the exact same problems that they have complete lack of sex drive, no interest in sex and I even found one woman who uh, I believe it was seven years that she hasn't had any interest or um, sexual intercourse at all, so that's quite a long time, and uh, there was quite a number of people, so just that alone I would say is a safe bet to say that yes, for sure, there could be definitely a connection between the medication and the side effect of lack of sex drive. So then um, I dove a little bit deeper and went into like the more toxicology side of it and I found that the type of medication that it is actually enhances one of your five main neurotransmitters called GABA which is responsible basically for enhancing your muscle tone and for like numbing out your nerve endings for pain sensations. And, which like causes obviously you to feel lack of feeling and it also reduces neural excitability so if she has been taking this medication for a long period of time and this medication is a dopamine blocker dopamine is responsible for feeling pleasure, then the dots are starting to get connected here. So it enhances GABA, which in turn makes you feel lack of feeling, lack of pain, and it also reduces your neural excitability. Those three things right there to me are enough to uh, justify a lack of sex drive. But again, like I said, I don't know the full picture of this couple. I'm just giving um, my opinion on what I've researched. So I hope that helped you out. If you want to answer some of the questions that I had, like the, the duration of how long she's been using it and things like that, please feel free. I'd love to do more research if you need. And until next time, just remember to stay strong and you're never alone.